Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the uh, 26th of April 2017. Please be sure to, uh, let me just adjust this for you. Uh, hopefully that will be, uh, be improved now. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the, Google, uh, the uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, folks, in terms of uh, markets today, we await Mr. Tr uh, Trump's uh, potential tax plan, although it certainly is very divisive uh, in terms of it passing or even seeing the light of day, really, given the fact that he's gone for the 15%, uh, whopping 15%, uh, obviously, reduction down to 15%. It certainly seems like, uh, well, all the analysis that I'm reading so far is that he doesn't actually intend 15%. He's just throwing a number out there to see what the reaction is. And then obviously he can uh, adjust accordingly. Now, that's not exactly how you uh, uh, go ahead and, um, and 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 play politics in um, in in, uh, in Congress. So uh, again, a lot of people are criticising him. A lot of people are playing it down now, saying that he's nowhere near fifteen percent tax cut. He'll be lucky if he gets a 20, uh, 25, even thirty percent, given the fact fact that uh, it's revenue neutral. Anything around twenty percent and higher is revenue neutral, or can be argued that means revenue neutral. So. Uh, it certainly is interesting, okay, whether or not he gets his way. Uh, the healthcare bill certainly has been postponed. The tax, uh, again, the tax plan, whether or not that will get put, 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 put through and it'll actually go through Congress is a different story altogether. So we'll see. We'll see what details come out and we'll see whether these details are concrete. There's still some bickering and warring amongst the party members as well. The Democrats certainly are on board, so that certainly isn't good news. Okay, so the market certainly has uh, certainly has attempted to short squeeze higher, but again, it's all about uh, uh, it's all about uh, uh, substance, and let's see if we actually get uh, substance uh, at present. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the markets, let's uh, see exactly where we stand. Asian markets overnight, the Nikkei up 210 points at one percent. The Shanghai Hang Seng certainly subdued up 0.5, 0.2%. European markets this morning all negative, down 8 points. And the FTSE DAX down 16 points, CAC more or less flat. FTSE MIB down 0.75%. Okay, it certainly seems to be giving back those gains. Now, one of the reasons why the markets are bearish this morning is because of uh, uh, the ECB leak yesterday, sending the euro surging up to 1.0950. So again, given the fact that uh, post-Macron election, or post French election, the uh, the actual uncertainty has reduced, and therefore you are looking for the ECB now to certainly exercise more uh, of a hawkish stance. Okay, uh, you can see here we hit a pivot high overnight at 1.0950. Now the market, so the euro certainly selling on the back of a potential uh, hawkish stance from uh, well, not hawkish stance, but given the fact that Mr. Trump is going ahead with his tax plan, certainly is dollar positive, and therefore obviously euro coming under pressure to a large extent. But the euro remains a buy. From my understanding and my uh, my perspective, are buying a dip on the base that on the basis that, uh, uh, given the fact that we are going to get more of a hawkish stance, uh, indication towards tapering, given the fact that European equities are at all time highs, if anybody was was going to do tapering now would be the uh, ideal opportunity. Okay, now, in terms of economic data this morning, as we more or less non-existent. Okay. Uh, we have had uh, consumer confidence out the uh, out of France certainly coming in in line. Uh, ZEW out of uh, CHF uh, coming in uh, slightly weaker. Okay, mortgage application just come out of the US and came in actually stronger. Okay, and we are we'll, we await Canadian retail sales and then crude stocks later on. Other than that, all the focus really will be on the fact of uh, uh, basically will be on Mr. Trump's so-called tax plan and tax overhaul. Okay, that's the. Uh, that's where all the attention and focus will be. Okay, now in terms of the markets, let's quickly run through this. Again, I've already argued weekly chart of the German DAX is uh, into resistance and therefore risk off. Daily chart of the German DAX, we put in a doji candle yesterday. We're putting in a potential bearish engulfing candle at the moment. 60-minute chart, uh, we've still held that topping tail I argued yesterday. Would certainly hold and therefore looking to reverse 10-minute chart of the German DAX. We've put in a double top. Now we're looking for a lower high and lower low. Okay, and looking for a flush lower. Given the fact that we've got a massive air pocket below, a humongous gap, okay, almost a 450, 500 point gap, amazing, mesmerizing, highest ever, okay. Uh, again, we certainly need to cook, give, uh, certainly take some hot air out of this market at present, okay. So one would argue for the downside. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC. Again, we're holding that pivot high, 
okay looking for the markets to drop okay no higher highs have been registered thus far therefore looking for exhaustion 60 minute chart certainly looks exhausted as well your pivot low is seen at 5230 so let's see if we can test that okay again like i said we're only through the first round miss le pen she certainly seems to have stepped down from the front, national front which certainly is a attempt she's certainly attempting to uh, broaden her appeal okay on in, in in doing so and therefore you're looking for a move lower back down to 5 to 30 here plus potentially okay so just be open-minded daily chart of the french cac at the moment you've put in two three dojis now therefore indicating exhaustion no real uh, appetite for a move higher and uh, last but not least weekly chart of the french cac as we know is in double top and therefore you're looking for risk aversion okay in terms of the FTSE 100 uh, at present we've held that 7280 gap fill uh, double top uh, at 7290 certainly has held and now looking for a lower high on the FTSE so bear that in mind looking for a lower high 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 at the moment uh, you're still uh, holding that uh, Fib 75% resistance and therefore bias would remain bearish. Daily chart, previous support equals resistance uh, into that Fib 61% and therefore bias would remain bearish. So for my understanding and my interpretation, everything is indicating weak. Uh, also, given the fact that FTSE 250 now is testing that upper channel resistance, one would argue for weakness here too. Okay, now in terms of the euro stocks, last but not least, daily chart certainly putting in a bearish candle. Uh, the weekly chart really is in no man's land, for one would argue on the S&P 350 and the stock 600, you certainly argue to move lower. 60 minute chart, extremely, extremely, extremely uh, overbought from my perspective, certainly needs to pull back, okay. Uh, in terms of pullback, even if we get a 38%, uh, 650% pullback, certainly is on the cards from my understanding and my interpretation. 10 minute chart at the moment has this H&S formation. So therefore, bias would remain bearish from my understanding and my interpretation of technicals. Uh, so certainly looking for a move lower, folks. Okay, H&S target is uh, 3590, 3570. Look for 3550, and then we'll see exactly how the market responds. Then, okay. Again, you do have support at 3530 in terms of the 200 MA. Okay. On that note, please be sure to visit uh, CFDs.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye. Now.